Ginger Snaps 2 came out four years after the original. I don't know how many people were asking for a sequel at the time. The first one seemed like a pretty open and shut case to me, but the show must go on. So let's see what they cooked up for Ginger Snaps Unleashed. Heads up, spoilers for the first movie incoming. We follow Bridget, who is on the run sometime after killing her sister. She injects monkshood, a plant that can act as a way to suppress the disease, thought to be a cure in the first film. Bridget is starting to form a high tolerance to the stuff, but is unable to keep her wolf side completely dormant. She begins taking higher doses, but it's obviously poisonous for humans. She has brief visits from an imaginary or ghostly ginger, which I am thankful doesn't continue too much throughout the movie. They had to squeeze in the titular character somehow, but all of this is going on and Bridget is also running from a werewolf who wants to mate with her. Sadly, spoiler for this movie, we never find out who the werewolf is. The whole film I'm wondering when they're going to reveal it, thinking maybe it's the drug dealer who had somehow survived the first one, or that one guy Ginger infected, but we never know. So after being attacked by him, Ginger basically ODs outside and wakes up in a rehab facility run by Joan Cusack. They've taken away her monkshood, and she is trying to escape before she or the big bad wolf kills anyone. There's this one orderly who works there and he's a total piece of shit. He has access to the drugs and coerces girls into sexual favors so they can get a fix. Total piece of garbage. Then another character we follow is this younger girl named Ghost. Her grandmother was in a terrible accident and they keep ghosts there because the facility receives money for keeping her. She's basically shunned by most of the hospital. Everyone thinks she's annoying and weird. There's one scene where some of the older girls are tossing coins at her head. Like what the fuck. Bridget and Ghost become friends and Ghost tries to hook her up with Monktoad when she can and they plan to escape together outside of the abandoned part of the hospital. Aside from Ghost and the shitty orderly, there's not much interesting going on at this setting. The big bad wolf is lurking around and claims some furry victims. But a major block to this movie is Bridget being angry that she can't take her drug. I think instead of going for an allegory on puberty, this movie may have been reaching for one on drug addiction. Much like the first film, they don't focus on fleshing this particular idea out. I don't think this movie hits quite the same note that the first one did for me. It's missing some of the goofiness that sold the tone of the first one. While this one has a much more bleak atmosphere, it just leads to it feeling like it's taking itself more seriously. I don't know if that was the intention, but it's just how I feel about it. Um, despite all that, I managed to have an engaged enough watch of it. It's pretty standard for a horror sequel to follow the main character of the first one and hospitalize him. Uh, examples of this being like Hellraiser 2 or Halloween 2, those are just the ones that come to the top of my mind. I think that this one becomes much more interesting in its last third, but I don't want to give anything away. I'd say if you liked the first movie, you're probably going to somewhat enjoy this one, at least moments. If you're a big Ginger fan, uh, this might not be the sequel for you because she's not in it very much, but maybe the next entry will somehow find a way to give us the duo dynamic from the first one again. Anyway, Ginger Snaps Unleashed gets a 5 out of 10 from me. Not bad, but not great.